we have graduated and now we have our first mission in space so first of all we need to talk to elisa who is of course standing right here with us so let's see what she has to say i'm going to check in and then head for the bridge see you there all right so am i i'm just going to follow you along and this is Lieutenant Rickars. Name and position? Cadet J.D. McTavish, Acting First Officer. I have your record right here. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Where is the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use a turbo lift in the nearby quarter. It will take you directly there. All right. Thank you. So, now that we're on this ship, of course, we are going to be going somewhere. Well, I believe we're going to be going to Vulcan. But I should let you know that uh, previous times that I've played this scenario here, the major advers adversary at the beginning was the Klingons. It has since changed. But anyways, we're on the bridge. We need to speak with the captain here. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one? Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. All right, so Tavrell, get clearance from traffic control for the Fujisawa to leave the gentry. Earth Traffic Control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Flores, send the signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. So, this I have to do myself. So, release tractor moorings. And back to the captain. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. <laughs> uh, we have a bit of a choice here. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusters only while in the vicinity, vicinity of space dock? Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. To sit, right click on the chair you wish to sit in. All right, that um, that was actually from Star Trek VI. Kirk gave the same command to Valeris, and Valeris, of course, quoted the uh, the regulations. So we're just gonna sit. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Ominous music. Something's gonna happen. I'm picking up an automated distress call from the SS Break Even. Their warp core is failing, and they require immediate assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. They are not responding to our hails, Captain. Keep trying, Trevel. Their long range comms might be down. Number one, let's discuss the situation. An unexpected situation, number one. But such things come with the job. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of the training crews? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. It's a race against time if their warp core is at risk. Indeed. We also don't know what led to this situation either. It could have been an accident or the results of an attack. What do you advise? All right, so this is one of our first big decisions here. So we can go to red alert. We can put up the shields or we can get some more information. I'm going to choose this one. Shields up, sir. Better safe than sorry. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Yes, sir. As I said, better safe than sorry. Indeed. Yellow alert. Raise shields. Number one, I'd like you to oversee the rescue effort once we arrive.
Still All no right. response from the break-even captain. Scan them. Maybe they're unable to respond to our signal. Captain, our shields are collapsing. Flores, return fire. Atom Delta Sierra 9. Well, there, there we go. The shields. Not good. Engineering to bridge. Go ahead, engineering. Sir, the Borg are here. We need help. So as you can see, it's right. the Borg. Number one, I want you to go to main engineering and lead the security team efforts there. Get those Borg off my ship. Yes, sir. So this is going to be our first bit of combat. So we need to go down to engineering. Sorry for the emergency stop, number one, but there's a problem in the transporter room. The Borg are trying to take it over, most likely to prevent us from using site-to-site -site transports within the ship. I see. What are your orders? Head to the armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security officers you find on the way. Once you're armed, I need you to go to the transporter room and secure it as soon as possible. What about the enemy ship, sir? We're holding our own so far, number one, but our success depends on securing the ship. Do what you can to get the Borg out of critical areas. Yes, sir. You need to unlock the armory. Sir, yes, we here. do. Intruder alert. I'm All right, so over here we need to... the command code! <laughs> They're very, very pushy, aren't they? Borg detected on depth three, five, and nine. We should grab rifles to fight off the Borg! All right, so let's grab our rifle. Get rifle. This is what I'm talking about. Locked, loaded, and ready to rock and roll. All right. So we need to equip the rifle. Now this is the thing here. To use quick equip, you have to press U key to open your status window. Now this is one thing that I neglected to do one time when I was uh, playing through this, and I couldn't proceed beyond a certain point. So here we go. We've got inventory here. This is what we need to equip. So this is our rifle. So you can just uh, drag it over here. There we go. So now we've got it. There's too many windows open here. About to leave the armory, sir. Very well. We're reading Borg life signs in your area. Looks like you'll have to fight your way to the transporter room. Good luck. Thank you, sir. McTavish out. Alright, so we need to switch our weapon here. So this one, there we go. Now it's switched. So off in this direction, we should be encountering some Borg right now. And there we go. Ah, should probably start using it, huh? Uh, let me close that. There we go. So you right click to shoot. Let me just adjust this. That's better. I can see where I'm shooting. In case you're wondering, I pressed X to aim a little bit more easily. Just keep shooting. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. Alright, so we got this. And what do we get? We get a medium hypo. This will come in useful. Alright, so down here you'll notice we have numbers. Uh, number five is for the hypo spray. Number six here we got mental discipline, which is interesting. Um, number four we've got a small hypo, so medium uh, cardiopulmonary, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's a bit different. So number four is what we'd use. Number three, however, is use the rifle butt, oh, which is interesting. Number two sniper shot, and number one is bolt setting. All right. 
just so you know, you can change a lot of uh, the things that you're doing. Here we are, transporter room. Let's get in here. Yeah, so flanking them, you go to the side. Like this. So as you can see, they're not the most difficult drones to fight. Yes, help me. Alright, so this is where we are going to be using the Hypo Spray. Okay, Cadet Rarak. Thanks. You saved me from a fate worse than death. I'll get back to manning the transporters. I need to get to main engineering to repel more of the Borg. That's going to be a problem. We took some hard hits in the initial salvo, and there are hole breaches in the corridor. I don't think you can make it there. Can you beam me directly to engineering? We still have main power, so yes. Yes, I think I can. Get on the transporter pad and I'll beam you there. Alright, so we're going to head on over there. As you can see, we are timing is running sir. into we are making a push to retake main engineering. A lot. Press C to crouch. <laughs> is a I think it's time to attack these guys, huh? But increases damage from melee attacks. Press X to aim your weapon. Already your done. Gives a bonus to so yeah, you can crouch as well. There we go. All right, I just close this. So this is not where we want to be. We want to be. Whoa, okay, we got a drone right here. So we're in main engineering now. Ah, okay, good. Been taken care of. We've got multiple drones in here. Why are you guys aiming that way? They're aiming the wrong way. Which I find interesting. Hey guys. It would be uh, handy if you actually aim over here. Oh. Okay. Well, that's odd. Okay, I've got an idea. I saw this in a Starfleet history sim, so I'm pretty sure it'll work. I need you to prepare the plasma coolant for emergency release. That sounds pretty risky. Any riskier than standing around while the Borg send over more drones? I don't think so. Hurry, I do not want to be assimilated. No, thank you. Wow, sassy. I'll prepare the coolant for release. All right, prepare plasma coolant. Not good, not good. We need to go now. Quick, release the plasma coolant. I don't want to turn out like Pike. And look at that. You can see their skulls. It worked! Data, you mad android genius! It actually worked! I love you! <laughs> Bet you're glad I was paying attention in history class that day. Ah, yes, Data. I am concerned but relieved. Thank you. That plasma coolant really did a number on the board. You won't be coming back here anytime soon. That's good! That's very, very good. <laughs> McTavish to bridge. We've secured main engineering. Number one, we've got injured up here and the Borg could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Aye, sir. Go. See to the bridge. We will secure main engineering. All right.
right, that means turbo lift. Oh, here we go. We've got a few. Uh, let's actually refocus here. The multiple drones here. The bridge is secure for now. Help the others back onto their feet, number one. We may have more unwanted guests before too long. Hi, Captain. All right, so we need to help these. So heal cadet. That's our Saurian. I can't remember oh, his name. I owe you. Both of you. And Tavrel over Thanks. here. Razki, that's his name. You have my gratitude. Wow. Nice work, number one. Oh, looks like that phase of training paid off. Uh-oh, not good. Captain, look out! <laughs> Captain Taggart has been taken. Captain, the Borg vessel has gone to war and left the system. What? Why would they just leave? Based on the amount of damage they sustained, it is logical to assume they disengaged in order to regenerate safely. Track that ship. If we can catch them, we may be able to rescue Captain Taggart. All right. Flores, tell me something. We, we survived, but the captain, he trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. All right. So, that is actually the end of the training cruise. So we have completed this task, but what do we have next? In fact, we've got space battles coming up soon. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, I'll be doing another episode in a few days, so twice a week. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again here soon. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.